everyone, John Iskero here, and it's good to see you guys again. Today's video will be on how to make facial animations easily in Roblox. Now the reason I'm making this tutorial is because of the recent face pack that I've released. A lot of you guys have been asking questions on how to use it. Well, the thing is there's multiple ways in you can make facial animations with Roblox, but I'm going to just show you the way that you can make it in Roblox with a model called Malfit version 2.2. And the reason I say just in Roblox is because I have made a facial animation video tutorial before. The quality isn't that great and it's not as updated as it would be right now. So this is this is the reason why this will be one or two parter because there's many other ways to do it of how to make a facial animation in Roblox. And the reason I'm making it is because I know facial animation could be good for your video or even your game that you're making. Like you know how cool it would be if you're voice acted a game, a game character and then he starts moving his mouse and you can actually be like whoa. That's, that's actually in Roblox. I am, I'm listening to a, a character actually talk to me and move, move his mouth. Like, that's actually pretty cool. And then in animation, too, you know, that does help. Instead of seeing just a static image, you can just see, you know, like they're actually, looks like they're communicating, they're talking. And just like I said before, just remember, this is going to show you how to do it in Roblox with the mouth fit model. I'm going to make another video later on to see how to do it in Sony Vegas. Okay, now to get started, the first thing you need to do is open the facial animation place in my fan group. Once you get it, then you can go see the bunch of faces that is there. And you can also see the models that are there. Now I put the model specifically there is because there's a neat thing that they can do. If you run it, you'll see that they'll be able to move their mouth all by themselves. Now the reason is is because the, the mouths there are scripted. Well, the, the characters they're scripted specifically so that way whatever you write in the sentence inside the script, or it'll, it'll basically replicate that in facial movement. Is in Johan, how do you start doing this? So the first thing we need to do is to open up the model, look down to where a part that's called speech, open it up, and then you'll see a script that's called movement. Now within the movement script, it's called a blank script. But we're not we're not gonna mess with that right now. Right now we're just gonna mess with the movement script. So we'll open up the movement script, and as you can see, there's detailed information of how to make this possible. Now the people who wrote this was CNET, CSC Lambda, now do the Harlem Shake. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. And I modified it. I modified it a lot so it can be updated in my phases, and I tweaked a few things because I felt like it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. I'm not saying it was bad, I'm just saying it's, it's just not the way that I wanted it to be. So basically, this has the information, it has everything you need, and I think the reason he made it is because when I first started making the first faces, he actually wanted to do something to make it more lively, so that way it wouldn't be such a slow progress to just make facial animation. So he came up with this and I and I appreciate it for it. So what you will see when you scroll down is that you'll see the sentence, a sentence here that says, hello, I am Johannes KO and I have been updated. Well, yay, parenthesis three, why? And then exclamation mark. And as you can see, there's like the assets of the faces, you go down, there's more of the function of the script. So what we're only gonna need to focus right now is just the middle. What you're going to want to do is just change the sentence to anything that you would like and then once you're done just exit out the script and then you'll see how it plays. And as you can see right now it's playing. It's actually replicating the facial movements that it would if let's say you were saying that. And yeah there we go. I just like to mention that if you like this video just make sure to give it a like and comment and subscribe and just let me know what you think about it. I mean I'm always interested to know what you guys think about these videos. I really hope this helps you guys out so that way whenever you want facial animations for your videos or your games that that way you can do it this way instead of doing it in another complicated way or not doing it at all. And now I'd like to say thank you guys for watching, take care, and see you all later.